He is named after the main part of an earthquake, the epicenter. The owners of this Kentucky bred derby favorite grew up in California. So what would you expect? And Ken Spencer is here now with more on why epicenter has the odds of a favorite, but really wasn't the top pick in the morning line odds still standing at seven to two. Yeah, but Steve Aspies says epicenter has acted like the head of the class since he started working with him and has the results to prove it. The three year old has won four of his last five starts with most of those races coming at the fairgrounds down in Louisiana. His last two races, the Risen Star and Louisiana Derby were spectacular. The only thing that's keeping him from being the favorite in Derby 148 profit his post position. <laughs> I'm not crazy about the three hole with him, you know, a lot of pace to his immediate outside in the four and in the six post. He has been away from the gates extremely well in all of his starts, and we want, uh, you know, more of the same. Just good position and a chance to show your best side. Now the last horse to win from post number three, Real Quiet in 1998, the last winner of the Louisiana Derby to go on to win the Kentucky Derby, Grindstone in 1996. What I like about Epicenter is that he hasn't raced. This big, last big race was Louisiana Derby. When was that? Back in uh, January? February? Well, he should be a fresh horse. Obviously he goes through his regular work schedules, but here's a little tidbit. So Joel Rosario, you might remember, he rode Mo Donegal to the win in the Wood Memorial. He rode Epicenter in the win of the Louisiana Derby. He chose to ride Epicenter in the Kentucky Derby, and that was before the post positions when Mo Donegal drew the one hole and all that stuff. So you've got to think Joel Rosario, who knows how to win the Kentucky Derby, yes. likes this horse.